Hello and welcome to a new episode of Creative Picks. I'm Ritvika Gupta and on the show today we'll be reviewing marketing campaigns by Kingfisher, Walmart and Mountain Dew. Let's take a look. Kingfisher pulled a prank on April Fool's Day by announcing the launch of Kingfisher Instant Beer Mix. Yeah, the alcohol brand claimed that all you need is water to have Kingfisher beer anytime, anywhere. So goodbye to heavy walks home with bulky bags filled with beer bottles and no more fighting for space in the fridge. And if you wanted an exclusive first taste, you could head over to kingfisherworld.com and register yourself. This April Fool's campaign went viral and set the digital space ablaze with over half a million views in 48 hours across social media platforms and over 70,000 shares. The microsite garnered over 34,000 registrations for samples. Well, I have a hard time believing how people fell for this. I mean, there must be some hardcore beer lovers in the country. But hey, if you are a hardcore beer lover, you would have known that this claim is bizarre. But oh well, I guess this just proves that people are really attracted to exclusive freebies and giveaways, no matter how crazy they sound. And for a brand, advertising an exclusive sample can actually result in a rise in sales. In this case, lots of data, 34,000 registrations and lots of publicity on social media. The idea is to get people talking and Kingfisher did manage to do so. Presenting Kingfisher Instant Beer. Add to chill water, stir and voila! Enjoy the good times anytime, anywhere. Same great taste. Cheers! Walmart has partnered with Google to allow customers to voice order groceries from their Google Assistant enabled devices including Google Home, iPhones and Android devices. Shoppers can add products directly to their carts by saying, hey Google, talk to Walmart. Walmart will then recognize customers' past purchases to identify the correct brand and size of the product the consumer wants. Well, I think voice ordering is still at a very nascent stage across industries, but Walmart is staying ahead of the curve by incorporating this voice feature. And well, when it comes to grocery shopping, more often than not, we make repeat purchases. So this can help save time and make grocery shopping all the more convenient. Walmart is definitely trying to maintain its edge in grocery e-commerce. The retailer offers grocery pickup to about 2,100 stores in US and announced plans to expand to 3,000 stores by the end of 2019. So yes, while it is true that voice shopping will take a while to mature, Walmart's decision to partner with Google and use data to maximize convenience for consumers could help the retailer further boost its sales and strengthen its reputation. Mountain Dew has partnered with HBO to celebrate the series finale of Game of Thrones by unveiling a white, brandless, limited edition can. It's called A Can Has No Name. I love this GOT reference. The cans are printed with thermodynamic ink that appear blank when they're warm but reveal Arya's kill list when chilled. Mountain Dew released a video unveiling the campaign to tease For the Throne on social media. The brand also removed all of its branding on social media channels. To get one of the limited edition cans, fans can visit Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and share what they would sacrifice using the hashtags For the Throne and A Can Has No Name. In addition to tying up with one of the most popular TV shows for its season finale, the campaign is noteworthy for really just trying something new and unique. These cans are something that fans will likely want to get their hands on. Removing a brand name from a product could seem like a risky move, but so many brands have done it before uh, to drum up excitement. Last year, I told you about how IHOP changed its name to IHOP with the B standing for burgers instead of pancakes. And the company saw a four times sales increase and millions of earned media impressions. And this time around, it's Mountain Dew. With GOT season eight kickstarting next week, there just couldn't have been a better timing to launch this. That's a wrap on this episode of Creative Picks. Do leave me your thoughts. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram. My handle is ritz.com. And for your weekly dose of ad reviews, keep watching Creative Picks. I'll see you next week.